I'm sure by now you've come to understand the importance of training with a program. But as you progress on your lifting journey, you will learn that there are situations where it's actually beneficial for you to deviate from that program. This is what we call auto-regulation, a powerful tool which can minimize your risk of injury and get you more gains in the long run. So when should we be using auto-regulation and what does it actually look like? Well, we know that our training performance on any given day is greatly impacted by a number of external factors including things like how well we've recovered from previous workouts, how much sleep we've had, whether we're stressed or hungry, etc. An intelligent lifter must recognize when any of these factors are likely to lead him to injury and auto-regulate his training accordingly. This can be done by modifying literally any of the variables present in your program. We're talking RPE, intensity, exercise selection, the number of reps, the number of sets, or the amount of weight used. Let's go through a couple of real-world examples to see what we mean. Let's say you've just finished your usual warm-up for an exercise, but you don't quite feel like your body is ready to hit the hard sets. Well, in this case, auto-regulation can be as simple as doing one extra warm-up set. But now let's say you're warming up for a bench press and you feel a sharp pain in your shoulder. Well, this is where you can do things like reducing the weight and doing more reps, working in a range of motion which is pain-free, swap out the barbell for dumbbells, or even just skip the exercise entirely if you feel there's no way to do it without aggravating the shoulder even further. Another example could be when you're about to do some curls, but you feel like your biceps are still absolutely blasted from your previous workout and they haven't had a chance to recover at all. Well, rather than trying to hit your biceps again and risk tearing something, maybe you need to give them an extra couple days rest. And as a final example, let's just say you didn't get barely any sleep at night, you show up to the gym exhausted and stressed out from work, it's leg day and you're about to do your first set of heavy squats. You're walking out with the bar on your back, but you can't focus on any of your cues and the bar feels twice as heavy as last week. In this case, with the squat being one of the most technical exercises, it's probably safer to swap it out for something like a hack squat or maybe a leg press. Anyway, the point I want to make here is that no one can give you a one-size-fits-all solution for auto-regulation. One has to rely on their self-awareness, intuition, and personal experience. Hitting a PR and pushing our limits in every single workout is simply not possible. And there are times when we must be able to put our ego aside and find a way to get the work done safely, even if it's less exciting or has to deviate us slightly from our program. I also want to touch on a couple forms of auto-regulation which can actually be built into your program. Rep ranges are a perfect example of this. Rather than having to get, say, 10 reps each time, using a rep range like 8 to 12 can allow you to push your limits on good days, but also have some leeway on bad days while still sticking to the program. Similarly, you can use set ranges. So instead of doing three sets of every exercise, your program can give you the option of doing two to four sets, for example. Another form of auto-regulation is using training maxes to dictate the load for the workout. This is less common in bodybuilding, but I've seen people like Alpha Destiny use this with great success. This is where you work your way up to a one rep max at the beginning of your workout, and you calculate the load for that day based on the result. So if you hit a new PR, you'll use heavier weights than normal, but if you're not feeling your best, then your load gets reduced accordingly. Not that I would personally recommend this specific form of auto-regulation for bodybuilders, but I do think it was worth mentioning in this video. Finally, as a conclusion, I just wanted to mention that in some cases, auto-regulation can also be used to push your limits rather than just to prevent injury. If for whatever reason, you're just feeling great one day and the weights are flying, it's totally acceptable to push yourself beyond what your program specifies, obviously while keeping overtraining and recovery in mind. Maybe it comes in the form of doing one or two extra reps beyond your specified rep range in order to hit a lifetime PR for that exercise. That can be a great boost of confidence and motivation. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about auto-regulation. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.